Hi, my name is Jillian Kimberlin and I'm a systems engineer. It's just a fancy way of saying that I help computers talk with one another. And today we're going to be reviewing TV and movie clips that have programming and technology in general. So let's get started with Rami Malek and Mr. Robot. This is bad. Worst DDoS attack I've ever seen. To reconfigure the DNS? Yeah. Yes. Stop the services. I already stopped the services. Try to reboot the servers, but they're not coming back up. Dude, someone is straight up finger blasting their entire network right now. So all in all, this is one of the most accurate depictions of programming that I've ever seen in TV or movies in general. I mean, it's just incredibly accurate with the way things are displayed. If I could just nitpick here, in season one, episode one, he's using a port scanner that displays results. Well, that's not usually how the port scan results are displayed. It's got some inconsistencies in the output there so but again i'd be really nitpicky because mr robot is again one of the most accurate depictions of programming that i've ever seen in movies or tv shows so that just means that this can only get better right next up is chuck hacking the federal reserve oh yeah i can tell you did a great job seem to know your way around the computer. I'm sorry, are we still talking? I'm kind of busy. <laughs> oh, God. You know what? <laughs> oh, stop the pop-ups. It's way too unrealistic. <laughs> but, you know, that's just Hollywood. More pop-ups makes for a better visual. It looks like they're working really hard, you know? Um, but it's just, that's totally unrealistic for the setting. That would never happen in real life. <laughs> Funny enough, this isn't the most unrealistic scene that I've ever watched in a TV or movie. Have you ever seen the NCIS episode? Let's see if we can't get to that one. I was reading a joke the other day, and it said that there's four categories of movies that involve programming. There's the accurate, there's the inaccurate, there's the horrific, and then there's Swordfish. So let's go ahead and watch Swordfish starring Hugh Jackman from 2001. <laughs> you know, I, I know I personally get this excited when I'm programming men all the time. Thank you. We turn. Three, two, one, go. Come on, come on. Yeah. Setting aside the fact, setting aside the fact that this movie is extremely 2001, Hollywood seems to have a recurring theme in movies and TV shows where if you put up pretty graphics, you know, it, it makes it look like they're really accomplishing something. But you would never see that in real life. Those are totally unrelated. So let's move on to War Games, Hacking the Grade System. Ah, it's one of my favorite movies. Dialing into the school's computer.
They change the password every couple of weeks, but I know where they write it down. What are you doing? I'm changing your biology grade. No, I don't want you to do that. You're going to get me in trouble. No, nobody can find out. There, you just got to see. Now you don't have to go so to summer school. Change it back. Change it back. I said change it back. God. Okay, okay. Ah, this is one of my favorite movies. So in this movie, David, uh, his name is Matthew Broderick in real life, uh, is using a technique called ward dialing, which I think stemmed from this movie. It's a technique, the hacking part of this is basically you give a modem a range of numbers, a list of numbers, and what the modem does is that it dials each one of the numbers one by one. If it rings twice or more than twice, the modem hangs up because usually a fax machine or a computer will pick up on the first ring. So that's how you kind of suss out hidden or secret modems is by going down a list and dialing them one by one until it finds a fax machine or in this case a modem and that would be the victim's computer. And the next step would be figuring out the username and password of the computer and in this case David knew the password because they had it, he knew where it was written down in school. Um, but again, that's very accurate because, you know, people write down their information, their passwords on a sticky note or post it all the time and they stick it to the computer. That's very typical. So, I mean, I would say that's a pretty accurate depiction of hacking. And by the way, that modem, that is very accurate. What you would do is you would place the phone in a type of cradle with a speaker and a mic in order to allow the computer to do the talking through the modem. Okay, I'm ready. Let's see something terrible. <laughs> Next up, we're going to be watching CSI New York using Visual Basic to track a killer's IP address. This is in real time. I'll create a GUI interface using Visual Basic. See if I can track an IP address. <laughs> yes. Man, that never gets old. I'm gonna reset my computer using this pen and we're gonna see if it'll light that candle. <laughs> Next up is Under Siege 2, adding more RAM. Let's see here, access encoded. Gigabyte of RAM should do the trick. We're in, all right, what do we got? Phone book, recipes. <laughs> Chicken cannelloni, fruit salad with yeah. crystallized ginger. Adding a gigabyte of RAM won't help solve any computer problem, trust me. But then again, what do you want from a movie that has Steven Seagal solving a computer problem by literally firing a gun through it? Shooting me won't do any good. His big gun stopped the missiles. Sorry, spoiler alert. Next up is Tron, getting access to a computer. This, again, this is a very typical depiction in movies and television shows where you have to gain access to a physical location, a physical computer, in order to gain access into the system. But again, that's very unrealistic. Real life is going to be more like where you take your computer out and you're trying to log into the system and you're like, what's my password again? Uh, is it... Athe What's the name of my dog? Athena? Athena, right? Athena. Okay. Uh, Athena 1986. Uh, uh, shit! Next up is NCIS stopping a firewall breach. No way. I'm getting hacked. Oporsky? No, no, this is major. They've already burned through the NCIS public firewall. 
will isolate the node and dump them on the other side of the router. I'm trying. It's moving too fast. <sighs> Do I really have to say anything? Hollywood, you can't just add more people to one keyboard. That's, that'll resolve the problem. Oh. Ah, where'd it go, Abby? I didn't do anything, I thought you did. No, I did. Did he just stop the hack by unplugging the monitor? Look, I'm about to stop a hack. There! It stopped it! Wait, why did my computer stop charging? So, in conclusion, the key is that movies and TV shows are fun, entertainment purposes only, and that's what you have to look at it as. You know, I'm not looking for a real-life, true scenario of programming or you know, computers in general accurately depicted in television and movies. So just shut off your brain and enjoy it for what it is, because that is Hollywood. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.